it's the rose show and you're welcome guys thank you so much for liking my videos for watching them for subscribing to the channel i see you thank you guys popular prophet prophet chukwemeka popularly known as odumeje has had his church part of his church building demolished in onicha and guys following this whole demolition it created a lot of opera like on the internet space instagram every twitter people were just talking about the fact that part of his church was demolished according to sources these um buildings that were that were demolished were marked for demolition months before the actual you know um activity the actual exercise ca was carried out so that means these people knew that their churches were going to be demolished and anyway, i feel like most nigerians who actually reacted to this matter didn't really react based on the fact that his church was demolished they reacted based on the fact that odumeje himself liquid metal was malhandled and you understand like this whole thing that happened this was this was when some of the tax force and security operatives were malhandling him just normally your property is being demolished and everything you would normally want to express you know and everything i feel like he didn't even um try to attack them or anything he was calm he was calm and they were malhandling him so people actually reacted based on the fact that this is what the security operatives do first things first if you want to demolish a house i'm sure that it should be well secured so people cannot even come close to the place that you want to demolish my other line of thought this plenty um incidences of demolition in nigeria why why seriously i don't know if you're in another, another country let me know if these demolitions take place like this all the time because i then i ask myself when you were buying that land when people are buying those lands do you have papers that say you can build up to this certain place and even if these people that um, are, uh, assign this land to other people give them this land, why can't you come and say okay you cannot be i feel like the thing is most of the time this um, lands in nigeria or environment in nigeria are not planned people just begin to say ah this land is um this place so that they sell land for deal land for their they cheap now buy land here real estate is moving to this place and the government knows the real estate is moving to that place they will not go and plan that place so they won't plan it people will now buy land anyhow people will buy people's family land they and when the place starts developing you'll not be like ah that's drainage that's where water should flow you know demolish houses and for a country that people are still struggling you know people take years to build houses not even about the major church right now look at there i know that they have demolished houses before his own and everything look at their houses around do you get people sweat to build these houses people don't take loans to build houses most times in nigeria there are no mortgages and everything people have to pay everything in full the government needs to do better actually in planning lands because in planning environments because when a place is planned people know okay don't build on the waterway don't build here this is like a um, pedestrian walk don't build here but all these things are not put in place people now do stuff you now go take caterpillars you are demolishing people's properties i'm sure no, no compensation because the government says their land on a brighter note though a lot of um, odumeje's people have come out to say that the church is standing yes odumeje's church is standing that the place that was demolished was like a security um post and the fence that was on the drainage and something like that but the main church itself is still standing in daboski's church is still standing and i'm sure that that made a lot of people happy because look at the crowd guys that came out when they heard that odumeje's church was being demolished the guy has fans the guy has fans so you can tell that people came out for him and everything so yes they said that the church is still standing and the governor of the state has actually come out to say that he's sorry about you know the attitude of the people that were in charge of the demolition the tax force you see what i'm saying social media get power no sleep oh don't sleep don't sleep wake up oh yeah oh. do what you're supposed to do don't let them tell you that social media is um is just um you know social media is not real life i know that it's not real life per se but i'm saying that people on social media are actually real human beings you get so when you raise your voice very very loud on social media they hear you based on other things they hear you so you guys don't sleep you understand see people that actually came out on social media and talk um I talked about what the tax force people did to Odumeji and a governor is apologizing based on that that means they see you they read your tweets they see your instagram posts they see you social media is real it is here to stay and it's actually so good that they apologize to him but i still think they should he should sue them at least he'll get money to you know build something when you put in generator inside he should sue please share your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about this whole scenario it's the real try thank you so much for watching if you like this video like it like it like it guys please subscribe to the channel i'm gonna see you in my next video bye